Hey, check this out. Here we have Lethal Enforcers 1 for the Sega Genesis. In the big box with the gun, all the inserts, the original registration manual, a cool poster, and a really nice condition manual, which you'll be able to see in the pictures. This is going up for sale in my eBay store. I just want to show it in working order. So the first thing I did was I plugged the gun into port 1 and I couldn't get the game, the controller to work. So I figured out I have to put a regular controller in port 1 and the gun in port 2 and then you can use the gun as normal. Another thing is you need to have a CRT TV, one of those old tube TVs for the gun to work properly, kind of like Duck Hunt. Or, or what have you because that's the technology that it's using uh, but the the controller does work like I just press start it has to be in port 2 though when it's in port 1 it doesn't function and then you could go uh, you know play then you use the joypad and you select player 2 with gun and gun you can do joypad and gun not sure what that means but We'll do gun and gun. Now, it won't be able to aim, but you'll be able to see the trigger pulling and when I hit start, it working. But the whole aiming aspect will not work because this is a modern, even though it's a small, it's a modern TV and doesn't have that tube technology like the reflection. I'm not sure exactly how it works. So we'll go ahead and hit um, start to select it. And this is a cool, clean gun. It has a telephone port in the bottom. Not sure what that does. I don't think it came with any kind of cord like that. But it does have um, a telephone port there. So you can see they're shooting me. I'm going to hit the trigger. And, this, and the screen lights up. But you can't aim. I can hit start. That's all I can do as far as testing goes. Uh, but if it's registering or making a flash, and you can see the faster I hit the trigger, the continue button goes down. Um, but there's no way for it to aim because it's not a CRT TV. So I just want to show it in working order, test it as much as I can. If that is functioning, then I'm pretty sure it works just fine. You do need a, uh, an old school tube TV for it to work. Um, so this would be up for sale in my eBay store at the Great Lakes Pirates Plunder. That has a big old cool looking box here. It does have some corner and edge, edge wear on the box, but it's structurally sound. The graphics are still pretty cool and good order. But it does have a lot of edge and corner wear. Other than that, uh, pretty clean. The game itself is um, very clean. As you can see, nice sticker, no writing on it, clean. Um, the original registration, which I, I seen is hard to find, has a little bend there, but otherwise good condition. The poster looks like it's never been opened. It's a big poster, it looks like, for like Sega CD, Contra. Um, so this is, this is when the Sega CD came out. I did see there is a version for Sega CD. This is just the cartridge version. Uh, the manual's in very good crisp shape. Very clean. Uh, this insert here is in good shape too. The gun does have a small mark, like on the corner here, but besides that, very clean. Uh, the cord's in good shape. So this is what you'll be getting when you buy it. Uh, I will be putting it up for sale within a week or so. So thanks for looking.